Tori's death was the second murder of an elderly woman in a Syracuse apartment in about a month's time. The first, 84-year-old Ava Fold in her Grant Village apartment unit in Eastwood. News Channel 9's Callahan Marshall tells us how some of Fold's former students are making sure the beloved teacher is remembered. Anyone who knew Ava says the same thing. She always wanted what was best for her students. Well, she was just very, um, you know, very kind, very soft-spoken. Um, even as, at the study hall situation, she was she would try to help, you know, ask you what you were working on. Matt Peralt had her as a study hall teacher at West Berlin Central Schools. When he and his former classmates heard about her death, they felt like they needed to do something. We just didn't want it to end like that, and we just thought this would be a great way to. <clears throat> again, focus on and celebrate her life and her achievements instead of um, what had happened to her. So they created the Ava Fold Scholarship. Her life was um, just so strongly based in education. Um, but what better way to be remembered than um, in a school that she spent so much time in? It will go to a high school senior who is pursuing a foreign language or someone dedicated to community service. Both were close to Ava's heart. The adults, the staff members, and um, Community members, you know, when they, when they see that name on the scholarship, they certainly will remember. Carrying on a legacy that meant so much to a woman who gave her all to help her students succeed. Callahan Marshall, News Channel 9. They are accepting check donations, and if you want to help donate, head to localesquire.com to find out how.